In this video, we're going to talk about what causes an undervoltage fault, or the abbreviation is USF. So USF is under voltage fault. Um, one reason why is the voltage coming in power rating, or level of power you have coming in on line 1, 2, and 3, does not match what the soft start is uh, requiring, or is programmed for. Um, so that's the most obvious thing. <clears throat> And we're also going to talk about some other cases where that could be happening, even though everything is programmed correctly. So first things first, you have to realize that the soft start is, this. what you have, the soft start in general, is designed to run from 230 volt all the way up to 600 in some cases volts. Okay? The only difference is that the amp rating stays the same. So you can bring in 230 volt, you can bring in 460 volt, the horsepower rating may change. But the current rating for the soft start stays the same. That's the main thing about the soft starts, or any soft start for that, for that matter. So, from the factory though, the soft starts are programmed to accept 460 volt, which is the most common voltage rating out there. So, that could be one reason why you're getting an under voltage fault is because it's ex expecting 460 volt, which we can confirm by going into um, ULN. That is your voltage rating that you've programmed for your line power. So right now it's 480 volt, if that's wrong, if it should be 230, you gotta bring it down. So you have to hold it down arrow key to 230 volt as an example. And make sure that you press enter to save it. All right, good enough. So now, next time you power up the unit, after the fault has been cleared, it will now accept a 230 volt rating coming in. So that's basically the number one reason why you get an under voltage fault on the soft start is because the programming doesn't match what's actually coming in as line power. The second thing is, <clears throat> in some rare cases, if you're trying to run and if the power drops suddenly, you might experience phase faults, you might experience other kinds of faults, but you also may experience under voltage faults. So you may want to check your line power. If this is happening at a certain time frame where you're trying to ramp up, uh, that might be a good idea to confirm your line power face to face, coming to L1, 2, and 3. Um, you may want to check your high. If there's a high current draw, it could be pretty excessively bringing it down. You're bringing down your power available in your system. <clears throat> it's another thing to look for. But regardless, this is the reason why the USF will appear um, on this particular ATS-22 soft start.